Welcome Aries, we're going to be looking at um, what it is that Spirit would like to say to you today using postcards from Spirit, Grace cards and the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so Aries, let's have a look. Beginning with a postcard from Spirit for you Aries, one card. One postcard for Aries, please. What does Spirit want to say to you, Aries? Here it is. No, that's two. We want one. Just one, please. Postman is sorting them out and getting the right one for you. Here it is. Here it is. Aries. <clears throat> Dearest you, there is only one you, and you have a unique path and a special purpose. You're supposed to have specific experiences in this world and meet certain people. But then it is up to you how you live, how awake you choose to be, and how willing you are to grow and strip away what is false. Don't compare yourself to others. It's easy to think a person is happier just because their outside looks good according to society's standards. But you can't know anyone's internal experience. Compare yourself only to your past self. See how far you've come. Stay focused on what inspires you. That's how you get successful and find happiness. Want what you have now, now, not what someone else has. We love you immensely and know your journey ahead is sparkling with miracles and wondrous things. Trust. Loving you forever and ever. Oh, Aries, that is so beautiful. We'll have a look again. I'll read that at the end. We'll have a look at that. Oh, that is so lovely. Okay, Aries, let's have a look with the grace cards. Three cards for Aries, please. Tell me more. Tell me more. One more card for Aries, please. Okay, first card we have here is Surrender. Next card we have is Release. And then last card here we have is Love. Okay, Aries, this says, Believe in the power of grace. When we least expect it, a new door will open and the light of grace will illuminate our next step. Yes, this is Walking Forward. Right, walking forward on your path. How you want it to be. Two cards on the floor. Okay, let me pick these up for you, Aries. Okay, Aries, the first couple of cards we have here well this one first off I want to talk about this is a new beginning a new beginning for you um, and I feel like this is cutting out all the things that are not real not real in your life being honest with yourself you know what is working for you really delving deep inside and um, not not kind of being in denial about the truth of what is going on for you, yeah? Um, this card here, Playfulness. Now, this um, this card is, is about having fun, letting loose, you know, going and enjoying yourself, being who you truly are, right? Rather than taking everything so seriously. The other thing I get from this card, Aries, is being transparent. And I feel like this is about you maybe seeing through... Um, the mask that other people wear 
or maybe that you want to see them wear, right? So, yeah, um, we also have patience and turning in here. And the thing with these cards, I feel as though they're both in the same position. And here's the Here's what I'm getting from this is that there's this need for you, Aries, to rather than putting everything you have into another, um, to actually turn it around and pour it into yourself. And it goes so far as this, right? Um, that if say there's something that you would that you you don't feel you're getting from another person, um, questioning what are, is there feelings about me type of thing okay this is just an example because this could also be relating to any kind of circumstance in your life okay because when you're looking at what it is that everyone else has and and what is going on on the outside and what it appears um to be in their lives and you're feeling potentially like you don't have those things how is it and what is it that you can do to turn around and give those to yourself right this, this this need to compare um, and feel like you are lacking um, is really about self-love. Because often we try and use external things to fill the void of what, that which we are lacking within. Okay, so if you can do that, you'll be streets ahead of where you were in the past because it is about no one else but you Aries okay um we also have here exhaustion and isolation yeah and it's kind of like this forever keeping up with the, the Joneses is what I'm hearing here trying to keep on top of things trying your best and it's just absolutely um, wearing you down because it's not authentic anything that is not authentic is a struggle and it's tiring, and it wears you down, so it's really important for you to be aware of, um, to be aware of what, where your energy is being wasted, and where it is that you can turn it around, and pour it back into yourself, okay, next card here, we have release, let go, when we release our attachment to the outcome, we allow the power of grace, to work it's it's magic yeah see and that's it in this ex, ex, exhaustion card here <clears throat> you know there's this this idea of what things should look like when you're finished and it's just not all getting pieced together right um because it's not actually it's it's kind of building someone else's dream or someone else's idea not your own okay so yeah but tell me more about this for Aries please the guidance card I saw on the bottom of the deck and it flipped over them but we'll see if it comes out okay I'll just pick this one up okay so um yeah look at this here Aries This, this card here I feel like as you're looking over the back fence, it, you know, what it's saying in the in the postcard from Spirit, right? Looking at what everyone else has, what it appears to be from the outside, what it, it feels like you can't get or you can't have, right? And forever looking, going, why can't I have that? What about me? What about me, right? But what's happening in turn is while you're looking over the fence and looking at the things that you feel you can't have or you don't have or you don't deserve or that you maybe don't feel worthy of, um, you're not participating in your own life, right? You're not actually turning around to walk in to a space that has everything you need you see it's all there for you but there's this um sort of your there's this occupation of looking at over here instead of actually living in the now and seeing that you do have everything you need okay um yeah see this is it again right <clears throat> looking at everyone flying why can't i fly 
why can't I come out of the cage and fly? You can. Why aren't you? This is asking yourself, why aren't you, Aries? Because there's something, there's something there that is, is stopping you from stepping into this um, this abundant energy of your life. And I think it's really important for you to figure out what that is. And maybe it is this, right? Maybe that's the heartbreak, the exhaustion of the, of the, the things that have happened in the past. You know, um, <clears throat> and this is what this letting go is about. Letting go of those things that are not serving you, that are not helping you. Because letting, you know, holding on to this, remaining in this icicle and not letting that melt away is only hurting yourself. It is not hurting anybody else, right? Holding on to the past. Yeah. So in that regard, the the... You see here, see here, Aries, this gate is shut, right? The gate is open now, but you're still choosing not to fly. So it's important for you to ask yourself why. It could be fear, you know, it could be. But it's it's actually working through that to go, yes, I'm afraid. This is what I need to do in order to proceed forward, okay? And the next card we have here is love. Oh, I didn't talk about this card, though. I want to say... That your inner voice is trying to speak to you. You have the answers that you need. The direction in which you need to go is within you, Aries. But until you let go, that's going to be very difficult for you to hear. And so it's going to feel like there's this need to search on the outside of yourself for the answers. Oh, well, they look happy over there, so maybe I should do that. And they look happy, really happy over here, so maybe I should do that. Instead of going within and going, what do I want to do? Because this is your life. You know, that's their life. This is yours. How do you want that to pan out? And not only that, but going forward and, and creating that in a way that you're proud to own that. That whatever is going on for anyone else, it doesn't matter because you're like, I've got this here and I love this. You know, like really, really, truly in love with your life standing in love with your life yeah love share your heart to love another is the ultimate expression of grace really opening up letting go of past hurts letting go of the times where you were stung Working through those if you need to, getting the help that you need to, because it's sort of like the, um, yeah, see, the awareness, the letting yourself out because you're hiding, you're hiding, Aries, and I feel like it's your heart that you're hiding, you know. You can only keep it wrapped up for so long, but there's a fire inside of you that is burning. That needs to come out. And, and you, to, to not let that out is doing yourself an injustice. Yeah. You've got a new beginning here, Aries. A new beginning. Where all your dreams can come true. And I know, I know, this is the thing, you want it, right? You want the new beginning, you want it to happen, you want all your dreams to come true. You know, this is about you working so hard to make something happen, to have everything you ever wanted. But it's really a matter of getting into the space and getting into the alignment of knowing that you are deserving of that. That you are worthy. Right? You are worthy. You really are. Wow. This here, Aries, is showing this new beginning of everything you ever wanted. Full of happiness. 
full of abundance, all your desires coming to fruition. Because it's your birthright. It's what you came here for. And there's trials and tribulations along that path. 100% there is. There's no one has a smooth ride. No one. No matter how they may appear on the outside, no one gets a smooth ride. But the thing is that it's your life you need to be concerned about, not anyone else's. It's your ride. How are you travelling through? What does that ride look like? Right? How are you going to pimp your ride, Aries? Okay, so, you know, this is, this is the important thing of, of focusing on yourself. Taking the focus away from the external and bring it into the internal. Okay, we have rebirth here. Because the rebirth can only happen from within. Okay, it can't happen from um, externally. It can only happen from within. So this is, I feel like this is also saying the things that you have buried for such a long time, the emotions, I want to say, and I feel like Aries, um, for some of you, that's anger. And, and it's potentially that you're actually afraid of that anger. But I want to say here that underlying anger is generally fear, sadness, some sort of pain. Anger is, is a, a cover for those deep hurts. So it is looking at that. Okay. And once you do that then you will be able to rise up and play the tune of your life. The melody will be able to seep from within. And that's how you'll be able to proceed forward. Okay, this transformation, you will rise up, Aries. You will rise up. Because you are Aries. You are who you are. Not what everyone else thinks you should be. You are you. And it is important to stand in that power and be proud of that. Okay, because you are worth. You are worth showing to the world. And your music is worth hearing. Okay. Your voice is worth hearing. Some of you don't feel seen, some of you don't feel heard, and some of you don't even feel worthy of being seen or heard. But I'm here to tell you that you are you are more than worthy and, and you are what the world needs right now. Okay, so let's have a read of this again. Dearest you, there is only one you and you have a unique path and a special purpose. You are supposed to have specific experiences in this world and meet certain people, but then it is up to you how you live, how awake you choose to be and how willing you are to grow and strip away what's false. Don't compare yourself to others. It's easy to think a person is happier just because their outside looks good according to society's standards, but you can't know anyone's internal experience. Compare yourself only to your past self. See how far you've come. Don't be distracted by what others are doing or accomplishing. Stay focused on what inspires you. That's how you get successful and find happiness. Want what you have now, not what someone else has. We love you immensely. And know your journey ahead is sparkling with miracles and wondrous things. Trust. Loving you forever and ever. Yes, and this is your future here, Aries. A passionate new beginning that will bring you all the happiness you dream of. <clears throat> okay, Aries, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.